Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be concluding my tutorial series on an introduction into Blender. Now, I realized after the last tutorial that I couldn't conclude it there. Um, it was while I was recording it and editing it. So, because what if you made a game and you wanted to export it? So this is kind of a small tutorial on how to export your game once you've created it. I'm going to open up the project, and you'll see that we have these two things and we have our move right move left and we have our mouse movement and I'm gonna play to show you what we did in the last one and then we can move and we could still look around while we were moving it was just a quick little game but there's a problem with our lighting you can't really tell it's a cube so, and I kinda wanna show that it is a 3D I'm also gonna scale it up to 2 to make it bigger just a little bit so all I did there was I hit S and then I hit 2 Actually, to scale that down to um, 0.5, I'm gonna scale it up to 1.5. Now, what I did there actually was I scaled it down to 0.5, so I made it half the size as it was, back to one, and then I made it 1.5. That's how I got to that. In case you guys were wondering. So now I'm going to get our sun. I'm gonna play around with this setting. Now we had this on 100. I'm going to change this actually to one, and I'm gonna change this to point. Now if I play it, you should see that it does look, in fact, like a cube. You can see that there's edges that it bounces off of. And you know what? Why not give it a material? Let's just click on the cube, go to material, and let's play around with this color. Let's make it red. But let's give it a specular of blue. It's always a cool thing you can do is make the specular color different. I like it being like a light blue. Now if we play, also we need to change the, um, we need to make this like 0.5. Uh, let's make it, yeah, 0.5. So it's equal on both. And then we want the hardness pretty low. All right, so like 20. Now if we play, we have this cool little cube. And I actually want the hardness to be a bit higher, maybe a hundred, like, I actually, because it was making the face blue, I want it to be like a reflection. So let's make this like a hundred. So it's a really pinpoint that <clears throat> Still blue, but you know what, I actually like that, that's cool. So now, how do we export this? Well, it's a hidden file inside of Blender. So the way to get to these hidden files is to go to File, User Preferences, then go to Add-ons, then Import Export, and then we need to find Export as, um, let's see, I believe it's like Export as, hmm, I'm gonna search for game. Um, let me look. <clears throat> Sorry, real quick for it. No, it's in. Well, it's in Game Engine. My bad. It's in Game Engine, and it's save as Game Engine Runtime. I'm actually going to do both, just so you can see both of them. I'm gonna save my user settings. Go back. Now we have export, save as Game Engine Runtime. Also, we have we have a t we have um, some other things. And that's what that was. So now that we have this, we want to export it. But before we can, we need to pack all into the blend file. So it says no new files have been packed. This is if you have image files and sounds and stuff like that. So I'm going to hit file. Then I'm going to go export, save as game engine runtime. Now I'm just going to save this as test.app. Save it to my desktop and wait for it to save. So I'm going to let this load. Okay, so now that we're done, let's go look at it. So now we have this application. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry my screen recorder stopped after I tried to open it, but you can actually see the game that we've made. So now if I hit the D key and A key, I can still look around while also moving around. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial series. If you have any comments on this tutorial, a new idea for a tutorial series, um, post them in the comments below, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.